Hey kiddos, welcome back for another demonstration. Today what I want to do is I want to make a homogenous mixture of two or more metals. I want to make an alloy today. So what I've decided to use is a penny, and of course a penny is coated with copper. Um, copper on the surface of the penny is elemental, it's pure. Um, in this beaker right here, I have some zinc in the bottom of the beaker and a little bit of a sodium hydroxide solution, and I'm warming that up right now. There's actually two pennies in there now because I'm cheating a little bit on the timing of this video. You'll see why in just a second. What I'd like to do is get the zinc, the elemental zinc from that beaker, to plate onto the surface of this penny. So I'd have a heterogeneous mixture of zinc on top and copper on the bottom. I'd have layers. Now I want to make that homogenous, so I need to get that top layer to mix uniformly with the bottom layer, the zinc with the copper. To do that, I need to heat it up really quite hot, actually, and get those atoms vibrating really, really fast. And when they do so, they can mix with each other and they can form a homogenous mixture of brass. We can make an alloy of copper and zinc. And it looks really neat when it's done. So I hope to show you that. So I'm going to take um, a couple of these pennies and I'm going to place them in the beaker. And this takes about five minutes. This is the part where I cheat a little bit. So normally I let them sit in there for five minutes before I remove them, but I actually have some pennies that have been sitting in here for five minutes already. I'm gonna pull those out for you so you can see what they look like. We rinse them off in some distilled water. I'll place them on my cloth here just for a moment. I'll show you, just be patient. I'll rinse the second one off and dry them just a little bit. And when I take these out, you can see there's the original, uh, an original copper penny, and then these two have been plated with some zinc. So they, they appear to be silver. They almost look like dimes, don't they? All right, now the next part. For that, I need my Bunsen burner. So I'll turn my Bunsen burner on. You've seen this before. We'll light that. We've got a nice hot flame, and I want to heat my zinc-coated pennies, the tip of the inner blue cone here, to get the top atoms zinc excited enough to mix with the copper atoms on the bottom. So here we go. I'm going to place it right in there. And as soon as I see a color change, I want to take it out of the flame, which I just did now, and quench it in my beaker of distilled water. And I've made a brass penny, a brass coated penny. So when I compare that to the zinc penny from just a moment ago, and the copper penny from earlier, we have three pennies, one that's copper on top, one that's brass, and one that has a coating of zinc. Hey, let's take the other one that's zinc coated. Why don't we go ahead and do the same thing? We'll go ahead and mix the zinc with the copper a second time. As soon as we see a color change, folks, we am going to take it out of the flame. And I'm not sure if you can see that change or not. We'll quench that. This is my favorite part. Listen. I love that sound. So we have a nice, pretty, brass-coated penny. Alrighty, thanks for being with me today, and let me show you how to make a homogenous mixture between two metals, zinc and copper. We made an alloy, brass today. See you soon.